In example three, in addition to points to plot and the first derivative, we also have a sign chart for the second derivative. So some additional information to take into consideration. But again, we can start by plotting the different points that we're given. So negative 6.25, our function value is zero. At negative four, our function value is gonna be five. At negative two, we get a function value of 3.1, zero, zero, four, negative 2.3, and 6.25, we have a function value of negative 3.1. So we have those different points to consider. We know that our first derivative equals zero at negative four. So at negative four, the tangent line is gonna be horizontal. At four, our tangent line is gonna be horizontal. So we get those two points where at that instant our graph is going to level out. We know that from negative infinity to negative four, our function is increasing. From negative four to four, our function is decreasing. And then from four to negative infinity, our function continues decreasing. So then we want to look at the second derivative to look at the shape of our graph, the concavity. So from negative infinity to negative two, our function is concave down. So we have a function that's increasing, levels out, changes to decreasing, and is concave down that entire time. So we have that downward facing curve. At negative two, our function starts changing to being concave up. So we get this upward curve as we continue to decreasing to x equals four. So our curve starts following this upward open facing curve. We level out again at four and then change to decreasing and concave down again. Leaving us with a sketch of a graph that looks like this. So we can eliminate a because our graph doesn't curve back up on the left end. For the same reason, we can eliminate D. So we're looking at the graphs of both B and C, which are pretty similar until we get to this last part where B sort of trails off a little bit and C follows this more decreasing pattern that we're seeing with our sketch. So in this case, it would be the graph of C that we'd be interested in as the graph that reflects all of this information presented. So we have a similar function to graph an example for similar information, but again, provided in a different format. Instead of sign charts, we're just given a table with the different information to consider. So we have our function values. At zero, our function value is two. At x equals one, our function value is zero. And at two, our function value is negative two. So we have three points to consider our derivative is going to be equal to zero at zero. So we get our graph leveling out at zero and at two. We know that our first derivative is positive, so increasing from negative infinity to zero and from two to infinity. And then it's decreasing from zero to two so we've got the general shape of our graph there, or at least the direction of our graph. So then we want to look at concavity. Our graph is concave up from one to infinity, meaning we're going to have that upward open facing curve. And our second derivative is negative from negative infinity to one.
so actually initially I included a little bit too much with my graph that was going concave up. So it should be concave down from negative infinity to 1 and then concave up. So at 1 we get that inflection point and our concavity starts to change and then our function starts increasing again. So in this case this would match up with graph C.